So here we have a function where we're retrieving some data from a DynamoDB database. We're using the get command um, to retrieve the item, which has the ID for both the partition key and the sort key. The issue here with this get command is that the data returned to us is of the any type. You can see here any. So what this means is when I go to use this data, which I can do by user, because I've renamed it up here from item to user, and then I do a dot, you can see here, I don't get any IntelliSense. And if I hover over it, it just says any, it doesn't give us any types information. So let's look at how we can actually go about adding those in. So to understand how we're going to actually type the data returned from the get command, we need to first actually dig into the get command and look at how it's constructing the type that's being returned to us. So let's open that up. And then you can see here, we go to get command output that we have an item with a record of string and then the native attribute value and the native attribute value is typed to any. Now this type actually looks pretty familiar because if we go back, you can see here it's record string any, which is what is it said it's shown here, record string any. But this isn't actually any helpful because obviously this is buried inside the SDK package, so we can't edit these types, otherwise it would get changed when there's a new version. So you can see here I've actually defined a new type, which is just called I get command output. It accepts a generic of T, which we'll come back to in a moment. And then what we do is we take the get command output type directly from the SDK. And then what we do is we omit the type item. So if I just look at that type, you can see here item is record string and any, but obviously we don't want that. So what we do is we remove the item type from that, and then we extend this type with our own item, which is where the generic comes in. So what this means is we can pass a generic to this type, and then any value that we apply with this I get command output T, we can then be sure will have the type of T. So overall, what does this mean? What this means is that we can use this I get command output with the generic. We can pass a type into the generic, and then when we apply that to an object, it will then inherit that type from the generic. And it will also match up with the stuff required from the get command output. So now let's look at how we can actually use that type. So we come back over to our function here where we're using the get command where we had the string any from before. What we can do is go to the outside of the db.send and then we can do as I get command output I user, just import both of those. And then what that means is with the user here, you can see it's typed as I user or undefined. What this now means is I can come down here and I can do user dot and then I get access to all of the types which have been available to me from the actual I user type. So if we look at the I user type, you can see here's all of the types. Now, if we go back to our function, you can see here user dot and then we have all of the types here ready to be used. So using this template here with the I get command output, we can actually type any get command, we can pass in a custom type and then that'll be applied to the data that's returned to us. But we can actually go further than this because we can do scans, queries, deletes, writes, updates, all of the actions can have this pattern applied to them with their own custom types. I'll throw the code up on screen because it's all in the blog post I wrote about this. Something to also bear in mind when you're doing this is that you'll obviously need to maintain the types. So if the types of the data that you're using are being manually typed here, you'll need to ensure that they stay in sync with the data in the DynamoDB. So if you start adding new fields, make sure you add them into the types, otherwise they won't be retrieved when you do this kind of type declaration. But overall, I think it's actually a pretty small cost for us to pay, having to manually keep the types in sync with the database. We'd probably have to do that anyway, to be honest. Um, so overall, it's actually a pretty small cost to pay. And for the benefit we're getting of being able to access the types on the data, it's, it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. So I hope you found this video helpful. And until next time, thanks for watching.